Thank you. Mark, you must be so proud of your boys to come to a cauldron like this. You knew it was going to yeah. be a big test, and I know you're, you're disappointed in some elements of the performance, but it's a great result to win at Bradford. Yeah, sometimes you can't play well, and when you don't, you have to try and make sure you get a result. But we didn't play well at Port Vale, and we didn't get the result. So I had to try and make us a little bit more structurally sound and, and balance that with having a, an attacking intent. Um, and and I, I think we did, we got it right, but we just made key decisions. We had players falling over, you know, slipping over, you know, and they have to make sure the simple things that like their boots are right. Make sure you've got the right studs in. You know, little things like that, young players have to learn, they have to learn quickly. Was it an eight, eight, eight booking game? Because that's so many were there in the stats so. at the end. Yeah. I mean, Ebo Adams made a brilliant tackle. Took the ball, and he got. Uh, I just thought the referee spoiled what should have been a really good game for them. Did you always fancy you were going to bag one at the death? I thought we looked a threat with Grubby carrying the ball in that corner of that box, and if it, if we were going to get one, it was going to come down that route. So we had spells in the game, but we, like I say, we uh, we'll take it. I know you don't want to pick out players, but I thought Grubb carried the ball well today. The Grubb, Grubb was very good. On another day, he probably scores two or three goals. Ebo Adams was immense, but he was a, uh, outstanding. Um, I can't like I, say, I can't fault the effort, but we need to make better decisions. Lovely move for the goal as well. Great better play. I think if you watch it back, it's, it's a consistent spell of possession, and we overload one area of the pitch, and we we managed to to find a brilliant cross from Matty. And, um, and Mills, he gets in amongst it and scores. And that should do Matty's confidence a bit of good to be sort of involved in assist. I know he wants to score goals, but it was smashing play, as you said. It should give all the boys confidence to come to this. We just wish we could play in this atmosphere every week. Yeah. What happened at the end there? Did you see anything? We just saw all the players sprinting off to the tunnel. I think it was an after effect of, of the sending off. And I think it was a question of handbags, really, and uh, a lot of frustration because they had the goal ruled out. Um, so yeah, I think it was something nothing. And it was nice of you at the end to bring your players out to thank the, the fans that have come to Bradford today. Yeah, of course. It's important that they acknowledge those and you know we had to make sure we got them away from, from the area that was sort of inflamed. Finally just one more from me. Bournemouth on Wednesday, a game you're gonna relish yeah. a free hit really. I just said to the boys there we have to grow up. Gotta grow up. You know, we gotta be when you go in the team or when you go on the pitch, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready to play, you gotta be uh, play in front of big crowds. Uh, and you can't keep slipping over. You can't, you can't keep the ball out of play. You can't make a silly free kick because you're going to get punished. And Bournemouth away, 12,000 people, Premier League team. The boys that didn't play today get an opportunity to go and, and really stake a claim. You, you could get used to this every week, really, couldn't you? Grab the one week, Bournemouth the next. It'd be nice, it'd be great. But let's, listen, yeah. it's something that we want to strive for and it's, it's, it's going to take time, but hopefully one day we can get it. Well done today. Thank you.